Operating an ROV is very much a team effort. Almost every operation requires a team of at least three people. There's the ROV pilot who controls the station, depth and manoeuvres the vehicle around. You have the co-pilot who assists the pilot by controlling the seven function arm. And a third person controls the winch attached to the ROV and records everything that happens in a log. So as you can imagine, clear communication between these guys and understanding the task is pretty important. With this particular task, the co-pilot is controlling the seven function arm you can see on the right and the pilot will control the manipulator on the left while also controlling the ROV's position. This is just one simple task which gives you an idea of what it's like working with ROVs. What you're seeing now is the crew's perspective. The co-pilot on the surface is controlling that arm and trying to grab the yellow handle of the ROV knife but can only see two dimensions and has to estimate the third. It's a bit like the claw games where you try to pick up a toy. You can only move the claw left or right and then nearer or further away but you have no control over how far it drops to grab the toy. It takes quite a bit of practice to do it quickly. Tasks that take minutes on the surface aren't as easy down here. Here we have a block of flotation that has to be recovered to surface. So the rope that is keeping it on the seabed has to be cut. On the surface, you can just grab a knife or saw and cut through the rope. But here at 800 meters deep, it's a little more complicated. There is a hook that the ROV is already attached to a sling at the top of the flotation, which is attached to a winch to bring the block to the vessel. To cut the rope requires a three person team on the surface to coordinate holding the rope in place with one arm, cutting through the rope with a knife in the other arm, and then notifying the person controlling the winch that it's safe to bring it up. As you can see, it cuts through the rope. The ROV has the weight of the flotation in its left arm then it releases the rope and the flotation can now be recovered to surface.